Hello and welcome. My name is Ryan Ogney and I'll be introducing to OpenEDR. OpenEDR is an open source initiative started by Komodo. Oh, and OpenEDR is as open source meaning it's free. There are many other EDRs out there that aren't free and they have a cost to them. One that comes to my head immediately is uh, IllumiWeb, which the I believe most expensive version of that is $995 a month, which isn't a bad price, but not all companies have the resources to put towards that. So this is where OpenEDR would come in handy. There are two ways to install it. The first way is not really easy at the moment because they don't have all the their files compiled where you can easily find it, but you can go to their to their GitHub and you should be able, once it is there, to fork the files and install it to your machine. But at the moment, the only way I believe you can get the files is by contacting their quickstart at openedr.com account. But the other way, which is fairly quick is clicking with this start with OpenEDR and it will take you to the drag enterprise platform and you'll just make an account put your email make a password and everything and then you make an account and you will be able to access OpenEDR on this platform and I'll be showing that off real quick here it is as you can see mine is not there is no information here so whenever I click on anything, it's going to ask me to add server or add something into it. As it wants me to enroll here, I'm going to go to the dashboard real quick. And so I have pictures of what it looks like when it is actually populated, as can be found on their GitHub. In the dashboard, as you can see, when it's actually populated, it has lots of information here. You can sh It has malware detection by hash, alerts by type, alert by endpoints. Also, one thing I should quickly mention before I go on, at the current moment, OpenEDR only supports endpoints that run on Windows. So if you have a Linux or Mac OS, you cannot use OpenEDR on your endpoint. Next with uh next thing, next picture I got here is showing off their the alert detection or the alert list. This list shows off all the alerts that have recently gone off telling you the scores the alert names the time it happened which device which endpoint which mean any which device and then like the alert status so if you haven't checked it yet it'll be new and if it's and if you have checked it and closed it out it will say closed next picture goes into the event search so when you're looking at each event you can search it and search for it and then when you're looking at the event, you can see details about this event and like how this event happened or the base of each type and everything. And the last two pictures go into the process timeline showing off like how the events happen and when it happened. And there's another view you can see of this is in it in the tree view, which shows it more as a a good diagram where like the splunk.exe uh, file split off showing the PowerShell, its process one and into the network, and it breaks it down very, very detailed. Um, if you would like to check out more on OpenEDR, I would highly recommend to go to their website, openedr.com, and read more, or look at their GitHub account. Thank you, and have a nice day.